Hey everyone, my name is Colin Slander. I'm a territory manager with Zynex Medical as well as a licensed physical therapist. Um, this is going to be my last video in the NMES series that I'm creating. And in this final video, I'm going to go over uh, pad placement for um, the anterior tibialis muscle. That is the muscle that is used to pick up your foot or dorsiflex your foot. Um, in my first video, I talked about um, a patient who's had a stroke and because of that stroke gets foot drop. Well, this would be an indication to use NMES on the anterior tibialis muscle to learn how to pick up that foot again, to strengthen that muscle, to prevent atrophy, etc. Okay, so um, for a patient that has foot drop, they're not gonna be able to do this for you. So you're gonna have to take their foot and bring it up. When you bring up their foot, you're gonna see kind of the outline of this muscle on top. You can feel shin bone here, and then right off that shin bone, you feel a muscle that comes running up the leg. It gets thicker and thicker as it comes up to the top. That is the muscle that you're gonna to wanna to put the electrode pads on. This is a smaller muscle, so you're not gonna to need to use the big electrode pads. You can stick with the standard size electrode pads for this. Because this is a smaller muscle, it can be challenging to get the appropriate pad placement for this. Um, sometimes you'll start getting other muscles recruited that you're not meaning to, and so you're just gonna have to adjust these pads accordingly um, based on what you're seeing the foot do. So um, I'm gonna go right about here and here to start. We'll see if that works for us. If not, I'll readjust them, but who knows, maybe we'll get lucky here. You don't want them too far apart or else that electrical signal is going to um, diminish between the pads. It's not going to be as strong, um, but you also don't want them too close because then it's going to be extra strong and kind of painful for the patient. And you're also not going to be hitting as many muscle fibers. Okay, so I'm going to relax my foot here. Once I turn this on, on NMES setting, and I start turning up the intensity, the milliamps, you're gonna see my foot start moving. Ideally, we're, we want my foot to come straight up and straight down. We don't want it going out to the side or in like this, because then we know we're starting to recruit muscles that we aren't meaning to. The anterior tibialis muscle, the, foot, the muscle that brings your foot up, solely does that action, so that's the only motion we should be getting, none of this type of stuff. So let's see if I guessed right <laughs> on my first try and if we get what I'm wanting here. I'm at 15 milliamps right now. My muscle's starting to twitch a little bit, but still not a strong enough contraction for my foot to start moving. You can see it start to come up a little bit. All right, there we go. See my foot coming straight up. That is partial skill, partial luck <laughs> that I got it right on the first try. Um, okay, so you'll see it happen here again. Mind you, again, this is not me moving my foot. I am not doing anything. This is purely the electrical current going from electrode pad to electrode pad over top of that muscle that is causing my foot to come up like this. All right. I'm at 25 milliamps right now, which is pretty darn high. And again, with IFC and TENS, we teach our patients to increase the intensity to the point where it's a little bit uncomfortable and then back off from there. With NMES, you need to be educating your patient that it is likely to be fairly uncomfortable when they are using it. It had to be effective, for NMES to truly be effective, it has to be strong enough to facilitate a muscle contraction that moves the part of the body that you want. 
If this was just tingling my muscle, if it wasn't very strong, it was just tingling my muscle and not moving my foot, that isn't doing anything for me, okay? It has to be moving my foot up for you to be getting any sort of feedback from this muscle to the brain, but also any sort of strengthening or prevention of muscle atrophy. The goal is to get as strong of a contraction of that muscle, regardless of where, where you're using NMES, as possible so that you can prevent atrophy, you can get full range of motion of that body part, you can improve somebody's strength, and you can maximize the signal that that brain is getting from that movement so that the patient can relearn how to do that. For somebody that's had a stroke, they no longer recognize or realize which muscle they have to use to be able to pick their foot up when they're walking. This is a great tool for them to be able to feel what it's like to pick their foot up again. And if that's incorporated into their HEP plan frequently, over time, that patient should get a better and better understanding of how to perform that movement and carry that over into their walking or their stepping upstairs, things like that. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, um, I'm happy to answer them. Feel free to reach out to me. Um, but that is all. Thank you.